talking of Nelson, this is the victory, the ship in which he led the British fleet into one of the most decisive sea battles of all time. There at Trafalgar, he defeated the combined French and Spanish fleet, and in the moment of triumph, the British admiral was mortally wounded. <laughs> After Trafalgar, the Victory carried out active duties until the time came for her to be moored as part of the reserve fleet at Portsmouth. There, she became flagship to the command, and apart from one break, has remained so until today. Because of its age, the ship needs constant and careful maintenance. Advising on this is Captain Alan Villiers, the man who sailed the Mayflower across the Atlantic, the chairman of the Society of Nautical Research. The rigging is frequently checked and, if necessary, replaced. A team of workmen is kept fully occupied replacing the tough oak timbers, for which the old traditional tools are still the best for the job. The ship is restored to the condition in which she fought at Trafalgar when she was one of the most powerful hundred-gun ships of the line. In this shrine of naval memories and traditions, perhaps the most popular for the crew anyway, is the rum ration. Issued each day, this specially made West Indies spirit is diluted with water. Water's the one thing you can't get away from. It was here on the quarter deck that Nelson was shot at the height of the battle. Nelson was gently carried below. There in the cockpit, the wounded admiral lay dying, listening to the noise of the battle. Then with cheers following him down the companionway came the news of the victory. Visitors in their thousands come to visit this great ship, still remembered and honored for her long service. The flags run out reminding men of the most stirring signal ever sent by a fighting commander. England expects that every man will do his duty.